In this video, I'm going to discuss the vertical shift of a center of gravity. So let us assume that this is a rectangle with dimension 4 meter and 6 meter. The length is 6 meter and this one is 4 meter. The kg of this box will be 2 meter. Well, it's pretty easy to figure it out because the center of gravity will be the geometrical center. So here the kg will be 2 meter. Now we added this weight and the dimension of this weight is 6 meter and 2 meter. So we have this g will shift towards the weight loaded. It makes sense also. The shift will be like this and we need to calculate how this shift is going to be affected. Well, we can easily figure it out. Now the dimension is 4 plus 2 that is 6 meter and the geometrical center is going to be 3 meter. So kg1 will be 3 meter and the shift will be 1 meter. So gg1 will be 1 meter. So let us take the moment of area. So let's first write the area and the distance from keel that is in meter and the moment well the moment will be the product of area multiplied by distance from the keel distance from keel so we take the moment and the first thing is the first area the first area is this 6 and 24 so this area means 6 into 4 that is 24 and the kg of this area will be 2 meter so we get this value 24 2 so we get 48 well now we add this area this area we add here and after adding this area then we realize that the geometrical center is half distance if it is 2 meter so it is going to be 1 meter. So the kg, k and g will be what? This is 4 meter. This is 4 meter plus 1 meter. The so kg will be 5 meter. Well, I will use this kg and will work out. So area is 12 meter. Distance from keel is 5. The moment will be 60 cubic meter. Now Let's find total area. Now let us find total area and the total uh, moment. So we can find the final kg and well the final kg will be total moment divided by total area. So the moment is 108 and the total area is 36. So we divide this and we get the value as 3 meter. So let's go back here from this picture what we can conclude that kg1 is 3 meter so this is 3 meter so gg1 is going to be say kg we already know that kg was 2 meter so gg1 is 1 meter well we could easily make out that gg1 is 1 meter and we have done by taking and we have also calculated by taking moment like this so we should also note something very interesting that this moment we can take moment for area also we can take moment for volume all we have to do we just multiply this by length and if we can take the vol moment of volume we can also take vol uh, moment of displacement because displacement is volume multiplied by density so we can take the moment of displacement also and, and in this I'm going to discuss that as well. So here let's say this is the vessel with displacement W and the geometrical center is at G so this is kg. Now I add this small w weight and that the center of gravity of this weight is a small g and the weight is a small w. The distance of this 
a small g is a kg now i need to take moment moment about keel so we need to take moment about keel so we'll just work out so first is the displacement which is w and the distance from keel is kg so the vertical moment is going to be w into kg the next is i added this weight here a small w so what i will do here i need to put small w and the distance from keel is k small g so the vertical moment will be small w into k and small g now all i have to do find the final displacement which is going to be w plus w because i loaded so i need to add here similarly since i loaded here i need to add the vertical moment also so the vertical moment is w into kg plus a small w into k into kmit a small g now the final kg that is kg1 the final kg will be the final vertical moment which is this divided by final weight let's go up here again since the g was here and i loaded this weight in this direction so my g1 will also shift in this direction so i can also say that kg1 is nothing but kg plus gg1 well i am going to use this relationship here to drive the formula so first let me write here kg1 is total vertical moment which is w kg plus a small w and k the small g divided by capital w plus a small w now i know that this kg1 is nothing but kg plus a gg1 is equal to this one plus this divided by w plus w so all i have to do i need to take this on the right hand side so i have gg1 is equal to w kg plus small w kg upon w plus w minus kg now it is pretty easy for me that i can write as as kg by 1 so let's take the lcm which is w plus w and this side will be w kg plus small w k and small g minus w plus w into kg yeah it makes sense also all i have to do just take one here take the lcm so this side will be will go here and get multiply okay well little bit algebra but it will really help us so here we get w plus w this side and here i get w kg that means capital w kg plus small w and kg minus now let's multiply which is w kg minus a small w and kg well this get cancelled so here i get w small w and kg minus small w into capital g so w kg minus w k and capital g divided by w plus w or simply i will take w or i will write as kg minus kg divided by w plus w so this is the formula for gg1 well let me modify this further and i will make it w into d divided by w final so here what i do here i am writing here d is the kg of the weight and kg of the ship and w final is weight of the ship plus weight loaded and this is a very very useful formula in these calculation